The tale of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West is one that is still being told despite a divorce still going on between them. They started out as an odd couple, turned it couple, and became one of the most talked about sets of people in recent years due to events by both sides. But even though things seem to have settled down between these two due to the divorce now happening, there are still details going on that make it clear that things aren't fully known still. Yeah, I feel like a loser, you know? Kim Kardashian is getting candid about how she's feeling about her divorce from Kanye West. Allow me to break it down for you, but before I do that, go ahead and do me a favor, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number six, the current state of Kim and Kanye. Let's start this off by looking at not the past per se, but the present, mainly how things are going for each side now that the divorce is underway. If you recall, Kim K filed for divorce from the 43 year old rapper in February after nearly seven years of marriage. Amid their split, the pair are continuing to prioritize the well being of their four kids North, age seven, Saint, age five. Chicago, age three, and Psalm, who turns two next month. Yeah, I feel like a loser, you know? I just want you to be happy and joyful. Yeah, and I'm ready too. Last month, a source told ET the reality star is a just- Kim and Kanye are getting along, a source tells People Magazine. They have both stayed true to their commitment to make the best situation for the kids. Kim is very happy that they have managed to keep things calm. She thinks Kanye is a good dad, the insider continues. She wants him to be able to spend as much time with the kids as he wants. This is obviously a bit of a change from how things were noted to be not so long ago. In fact, many stated that it was because of how Kanye West wanted to raise the kids that was one of the last straws that led to the divorce. But perhaps now cooler heads see a different look. The source adds that Kim seems happier since the split, which came after a tumultuous period for the pair. For every week, Week that goes by since she filed the divorce, Kim seems happier, the source says. She knows that filing for divorce was the right decision. The kids are doing as good as she could hope. West is requesting joint legal and physical custody of their children, according to a legal response filed by his attorney earlier this month and obtained by People last week. Sharing that Kim has been doing her best to surround herself with her family and good friends, be social, go out, and take care of her children. Quote, she is focused on making sure... Since filing for divorce, Kim and the kids have continued to live in the Hidden Hills mansion she shared with West. A source noted that that's where the reality star plans on staying. They both agree that the less stress the kids experience, the better. Kanye loves his kids. He wants them to be happy, the source says. He doesn't want to fight with Kim about anything. Again, that's a very key change in the narrative that had been built up in the lead up to the divorce, leaving many to question what really happened and how shady things may have gotten. Number five, Kanye sets things straight. Given the status of the two stars and the many questions around the divorce, Many have wondered just how bad things got in the lead up to the divorce. There were, of course, many articles that said how bad things had gotten via sources close to the couple, but it appears as though all those stories really ticked Kanye West off, especially the ones who said that Kim K went and filed for divorce to protect her sanity. In the mid-season trailer for Keeping Up with the Kardashians' final season, the beauty mogul got highly emotional in front of her family, appearing to be speaking about the split. According to a new source, West is the one who has actually long wanted to end the relationship, blaming this warped portrayal of their split on the Kardashians' huge spin machine. The insider explained that the rapper is actually super annoyed that the story is being constantly presented as her divorcing him, when actually it was him saying for a year that they have nothing in common except the kids and that he wanted out. She pulled all the stops to try and save the marriage. And while Kardashian was the first to take the formal legal steps to end their relationship, the source adds that that's because West wanted to let her file first in order to give her dignity, a very kind thing for Kanye to do because it definitely would have hurt her image, if you will, if Kanye went and divorced her first. Further backing up the notion that Kanye shot first, if you will, is that another source claimed. Even before Kim filed for divorce, Kanye changed his numbers and said, you can contact me through my security. Despite this, she trusts him around the kids. I mean, we have different views sometimes, we have different things, but that's my husband. All signs point to divorce for Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. 
He loves them and is seeing a lot of them. She leaves the house and he arrives and hangs out with the kids. They have an army of nannies, so the transition is easy. Number four, parental advice. Another person who has been speaking out a lot during this situation is Kris Jenner, the matriarch of the Kardashian clan and someone who's had a lot to say about Kanye in recent times. But given that the divorce is now happening for real, Chris has gone into full mom mode to give Kim advice on what to do and how to handle things during the divorce. I think the most important thing I learned through my experience, both of my experiences, is that the kids come first. Chris, age 65, said during a conversation with WSJ Magazine's The One, if you keep that in front of your mind and know that they're going to get you through, the love is going to get you through, you know, no matter how much you're hurting. Chris continued, I used to put everybody to bed and then I would be upset or go to my room and cry myself to sleep, but I didn't want to have a pity party in front of the kids. A wise thing to say and that's not something you'd say about Chris Jenner often. Number three, the full truth? Here's the thing though, while some of these quotes and inside source revelations seem good and solid and well-meaning, you honestly have to wonder how much of it is true. Because as we noted earlier, there was a lot of media coverage in regards to the lead up to the divorce of Kim K and Kanye. There were all sorts of claims and statements about why they were divorcing, when it would happen, how this all built up, and more. Right now, you honestly have to question whether the full truth is being told or a shinier version of the truth. Why would... Why would the two want a shinier version out there? Simple, because the alternative is their lives being continually dissected for clues as to what's going on. But if everything is fine and dandy, then there's little reason to dig outside of the basic reasons of wanting to know more about what's going on. Number two, keeping up with the Kardashians. Another reason to go and suspect that there is some shadiness going on out there with these two is the fact that right now, the final season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians is going on, and the storyline of Kim and Kanye's breakdown of a relationship is absolutely on full display. In fact, in 2020, Kanye was quoted about the show noting how it was trash and that the family was using it solely for their benefit. And that has come true in its own way with this final season, as the episodes are painting Kim K in a very sympathetic light and making Kanye seem more evil than he actually is. Yes, you could say that things have changed since this was filmed, but given that the family had to go and film this in the first place, you can guess that they're fine with how things are going. Number one, next steps. So what are the next steps between the two? Well, the divorce proceedings are still ongoing, the full situation with the children isn't settled as of yet, and there are a few odds and ends that still need to be detailed. As such, while everyone might be happy and content with what's going on, there's still some fallout left to be had. And as the true end nears, one really has to wonder what else is going to be said and how the narrative will once again be changed by the time things are done. And there you have it everyone, a look at the lead up, divorce, and fallout from the breakup of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Do you feel that there is still more to this story than meets the eye? What do you personally think of the situation and why they went and broke up? Do you think that they'll honestly be able to keep things amicable? Or do you think that their pasts will cause them to butt heads as time goes on? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.